So we're gonna start out with our tried wood review. I bought four pieces of equipment from them. Got the uh, weighted vest here. Two 15 pound Thor kettlebells. And one 55 pound Thor kettlebell. I'll start out with the vest. The vest is a little challenging to load the plates in because you have so much, let me go to the front part that's open right now. There's so much separation here. You gotta open this flap, then you gotta open this flap under here, and so on, and the plate just slides in. And after, after you're done sliding it in, it's extremely secure, it's not gonna fall out. It's really flat. Has this nice thing just in case you wanna hang it if you're cleaning the vest without the weights in it. And when you strap it on, have these nice little inside velcro straps. And then you latch these on from the bottom. The weight is going to shake. And apparently the plates are interchangeable. You can get a bulletproof plate if you want to and put it in. They tell you specifically that these plates aren't bulletproof. I am not going to test that theory. So along with that, they have a nice storage pocket right here. So you can put your cell phone and all your other stuff here. Zips it back up. Good mobility, arms movement. Doesn't cut off range of motion that much. And if you're doing pull-ups, the pull-up will not hit the bar. So some of the weighted vests I've had in the past are a little bit bulky. So these, these weighted vests here, if you go high enough, Especially if you are learning muscle ups or getting closer to doing a muscle up or just having a high pull up, it won't hit the bar. Very good. And you can keep that range of motion in there. We'll take this off and I'll show you guys some assorted or modified exercises you can do with the kettlebells. pounder they have a 70 pounder and they have a 35 and a 45. I got a 55 because this gym only goes up to 50 pounds. The kettlebell swings are pretty awkward because you're gonna do maybe 10 on one side, 10 on the other because you got the switch grip. So you're gonna have one overhand, one, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four. And you have the goblet press squats that you can do with it. You can hold it here, it's a good base for your palm. That's one. You can also, if you have a bench, you can start getting the rows in. A little more challenging with it, because you're challenging the grip and your hand is most likely going to slide along the handle. And you can do sumo squats with them. And one of my favorites for inner thigh is the plie squat. So you go nice and wide like in a sumo squat. Hold the weight down, you can do it with any of those. And you just lift up. 
Hold it here, chin up, chest up. And you lift the heels off the floor. Plie cat raises. Builds up the inner thigh of the calf. And now what I'm going to do with these, you have your hammer curl. And judging on the range from where your hand is, it'll make it more difficult. This is the easier hammer curl. And you're actually doing hammer and a curl at the same time. Now if I let it go, it's a little more difficult. It's more challenging with the arm. You can also change the gripping. It's a little easier this way, just in case you want to build up to a better challenge. But my personal favorite, because I love working forearms, is the Una and Radial Deviation. This is a Radial Deviation. It's something that's underutilized in the training community. You can lift up just with the wrist. Nice forward action. And if you want a little less challenging, just slide up on the hand closer to the head. Boom. Same thing with the radial radial de uh, uno de deviation. Boom. Bring it up. Boom. 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 Just like that. You have your twist curls. Bring it up. And rotate out. Then your military press. You can do it with a squat if you want to. Squat down, come up, hammer curl, press up. Now that was mostly all biceps, forearms, and back. You do have your skull crushers. You have your overhead. Tricep extension exercise that you can do with it. Bring it here. Extend up. You have your kickbacks. And a good hip hinge. really challenges the muscles in the hand and the form almost every exercise. Lat, uh, one of the other things is holding it out. Do a nice little pump. And uh, there's a couple of assorted exercises, but if you go back to the 55 pounder, similar to the one I just did with the 215s, <sighs> hold it out like the strongman competition. And bring it back slowly. Works the chest a little more because the closer your hands are when you push out, you can get more of that pec action. With this, you can also do seated preacher curls. Maybe you want to go with your weight. You can, but you can do the under grip for it. And really lift up, isolating that bicep. You can even change it to this position. You have your shoulder presses, here and up, here and up, delt flies, and 
And those are most of the exercises you can do with them. And that's about it. Alright, so my rating for all the equipment. The best out of 10, I'm gonna give it a I give it a nine. Because I've only had it for a week. It's not that bad. It's a little blocky and rigid if you have to do other movements, but it doesn't really cut out your range of motion for your arms. Uh, running with it is not comfortable. I would just do squats with it. The uh, kettlebells, I understand COVID's going on, but they took almost fucking ever to get here. I, I give the uh, kettlebells, because they're unique and they're very novel, I give it a 8 out of 10. Um, but the lighter the kettlebell is, the better the workout is with the uh, tribe wood kettlebells. They're a lot better, so I'm gonna give the 15 pounders a 10 out of 10. Because they challenge all they challenge all the other muscle groups that you're not targeting during your workout. And that's entirely more important to me because you don't want to spend so much time in the gym working on six different exercises just to target something. I can hit my forearms, my biceps, my triceps. Well, my biceps, forearms, and triceps all at the same time if I want to do the military press. I can target my forearm and triceps at the same time. I can do my shoulders and I can get those small swoops in the hand. So if you're trying to deadlift or to get somewhere different where you need more grip strength, you can, you can get all that done with the lighter weights. And because it's not evenly balanced, you have more of a challenge doing the traditional exercises. And of course, you know, there's a other modified exercise you can do with them when you get your skull crushers, you got your overhead shoulder press, you got your goblet squats, the shoulder press. You can probably do an overhead Bulgarian squat with it. There's a shit ton of other exercises you can do. But you know, these are the these are the key ones I'm gonna do here because they're easy and you can kind of see where you're going with it and how you would rework a traditional exercise into it. So yeah, nine out of ten for the best, ten out of ten for the light kettlebells. 8 out of 10 for the 55 pounder.